Hi guys, we're out in the conservatory. It's raining hard outside, so I guess that's a good time to be doing something indoors. We'll see if we can repair this kite. I'll put a link to the previous video where I bought it in a charity shop. Um, the wooden or bamboo spars. Uh, the main one, main one is broken, and the one that goes corner to corner or crossways is missing. So I've been out in the garage, and I'll put a link in the video description as to where these come from. This is actually from one of those pop-up tents. It's the springy fiberglass um, rod that's about ooh, five or six metres long. So I've cut that down to the lengths that I need. The only thing is it's going to be significantly heavier than the original. So it's not ideal, but it might at least do the job so we can get it flying. So just as a comparison, that's the original spar, 9 grams. And this is the one that I've just cut to be the same length. 36 grams so that's four times as heavy which is not good and the other spar is even longer the one that goes side to side so the kite's going to be quite a bit heavier than it should be well there we are up together I need to sew that up properly at the top As I say, it's going to be heavier than it should be. But we'll find out if it works. Probably not today, though. That is pretty wet out there at the moment. So we'll have to wait for it to dry out. We're in B and Q now. Six millimeter by nine hundred millimeter long pine dowel. Seventy-five p. So that's cheaper than it was over in home base. I just don't know whether they'll take the strain of a kite. I'd rather have spruce than pine, but pines all they seem to do. Just for comparison, I've just been to the hardware store, B&Q. This is my um, flexible spring-up tent spar, the 90 centimeter one. And that's weighing in at 41 grams. I've just bought this from B&Q, 75 pence, so that's more than I paid for the kite. This is pine dowel, 6 millimeter, and that's only 14 grams. Not 14 grams. Got another one there. Well, that one's only 13 grams. So, I might use these first. The only problem with pine is it really doesn't have a lot of strength when you're bending it. So they're quite likely to break. But for the sake of experimentation, I'll give these a try first. So I'll take the fiberglass spar out of here that I put in. 
and we'll try the wooden one instead because I haven't sewn this up yet. Trim the ends a bit to give them a, a gentle curve or point. to fly. So say these pine dowels probably won't last that long but we're talking about a third of the weight of these fiberglass ones so it should fly in lighter wind. We'll find out. <laughs> 